They trickled in through the school gates with heavy hearts, the trauma of the 2nd September dome fire fresh in their minds. But inside the school compound, there was a sliver of a cheer in a hearty reunion with peers last seen two weeks ago in fiery circumstances. And the whole plan is a plan of hope. It's for the girls to come back and find new energy and find that uh, actually even after tragedy, we can still rise and walk as, uh, because that's what life is all about. So when we brought the Form 4s, it was also a test of uh, preparing them as their seniors of the school, because the school is a community, so that they are prepared, they have gone through that one week, and when their colleagues come, they're able to then, you know, support them as well, because this is not something that the school administration or the parents can do on their own. The students are the best counselors for their colleagues, so the Form 4s are ready now to receive the Form 2s and 3s, and, you know, ho hug them give them warmth and tell them, let's pick ourselves and move on. And when the Form 1s come tomorrow, they'll find their seniors ready to receive them, you know, to adopt a sister. We are bound to be a befitting sermon and prayers ushered them back to school. When God restores things, he makes them more grander, more glorious, more beautiful. We are very scared even as we come to school. But if the friendship will exist between the teachers, parents and the students, I think we can all join efforts in ensuring about the safety of our children and the candidates in this school. Lord, let your peace like a river flow in their hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Heal them emotionally, oh God. All of us were traumatized. So when the Form 4 students came, some of us went through counseling, including the students, parents, students, board of management, the administrators. The principal was one of the most actually traumatized people because she was there in five minutes from the time the fire started. So now what we are doing is that we are bringing the students back in groups. We have the counselors from Red Cross, from Kenya Professional Counseling Associations, and they are all sitting with groups of students, groups of parents, taking them through counseling. And when the Form 1 girls, the most affected lot, arrive tomorrow, they will find the essentials of school life in place. New beds, mattresses and a new place to sleep until another dormitory is constructed. If you see here, we have beds for all the girls now, donated by Safaricom Foundation. We have mattresses for all the girls. And we are now looking to also provide uniforms for all the girls. So therefore, as the girls come, today we have Form 2s and 3s coming, they are coming back to settle and to continue with their learning and prepare for their exams. The Form 4s already came back, and if you walk around, you'll see the Form 4s are already settled. They're already preparing for their national exams. All the nine girls who died from the inferno were from Form 1. They will be laid to rest starting tomorrow, while the two girls who were still in hospital are said to be stable and are likely to be discharged soon. This is a new beginning for the girls who left this school two weeks ago in the worst imaginable circumstances. But they must return to continue with their education. And with the ongoing counselling sessions, it is believed that the girls will be able to deal with the lingering trauma with time. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.